Welcome, Welcome to, to Tasmania. Tasmania. In the winter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that's your first surprise about Tasmania, you're in for a treat because we're taking you on a week-long road trip around the state. Which, by the way, is tucked away at the bottom of the country all the way... Wait, zoom out a bit more. There it is, all the way down here. And assuming our Aussie neighbours haven't been lying to us, we've been told there's so much epicness here. Like Australia's oldest brewery. Unreal seafood. And unreal beaches. Some of the highest sea cliffs. The, the only floating, floating sauna, sauna in, in the, the country. country. From award-winning wine to wine glass bait. Tassie devils, did you hear that? That's terrifying. So over the next few videos, we're taking you along to find out for sure. Starting off today with 24 hours in the big smoke, the capital, Hobart. And make sure you stay till the end because every video in this series has bloopers. <laughs> Welcome to Tassie! Whoop. We have wanted to come here and explore for the longest time. We've had so many people tell us that it reminds them of New Zealand in a lot of ways, yeah. so we're keen to see how that kind of plays out, but it's cold. I shouldn't have got such a short haircut, my ears are absolutely freezing, <laughs> but cold. I think it's going to be worth it. But we've timed it perfectly, it's Saturday today, so we're heading to the Salamanca Markets, yeah. but we flew in yesterday with Jetstar. We're balling out in row two today, and the difference in the legroom is massive between what the standard legroom is versus the upgraded one. Plus, in row one, you can't keep anything on the seat underneath, here we can. And that's what we love about Jetstar is the fares are always so crazy low and then you spend money on top of that only if you need to on things that are kind of important for you. Yeah, so on this trip we actually both had to get 25 kgs of luggage <laughs> because it's cold, it's wintry, we've got heaps of puffer jackets. And we're going to be having lots of great food while we're here but on the flight I was like, oh, I've got to get into that chicken wrap and we recently <laughs> discovered Furfies as well and Furfies is now our go-to beer on board. Anyway, this is the Salamanca Market. It's been a tradition on Saturdays for over 50 years now. Uh, there's over 300 stores, so we're going to struggle to find, like, pin down exactly what we want. But it's all about local produce. They're real keen on farm to table here, so it's all about, like, meeting the maker and things like that. And we've heard about a scallop pie. Scallop? Scallop? Scallop. Ooh, see, I think that depends. What is it? It depends. I think Australians say scallop, don't they? <laughs> Just whack on we, an Australian we, accent. We say scallop. <laughs> but, alright, so it's all over here. Wood yeah. fired pizzas, honestly, I feel like anything warm is going to keep us. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think we need to find a coffee. First things first. Yeah, that's coffee. obvious. Okay, let's uh, just go in that door, maybe. <laughs> you guys get information. We only just got here. Well, I wanted to know where the best coffee was. Uh, and I got a little map here. It's got all these little coffee symbols. So we've got. It didn't really narrow it down to a few. <laughs> I'm <Okay>. still overwhelmed. <laughs> Too many options. <laughs> Too many options. <laughs> Smells good. Whatever I can smell anyway. Oh, are they for dogs? What are they? Oh, it's a bib for a baby. Oh. <laughs> got the, obviously got the Tassie Devil on it. I thought they were for dogs. Our friend just had a baby, so I, when I hear Stace go, oh, it's normally for something, baby, it's normally something dog related. <laughs> Is that just the state of the state of our lives? Oh my God. Goods. Breakfast of champs. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to give you yours. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting seeing the name of that building there. It's called the Whaler. Apparently, a lot of these buildings used to be used for like um, whale oil and tempering grains and all sorts of stuff. Big import export. I feel like it reminds me a lot of the combination, if we're talking about New Zealand, Dunedin and Wellington <laughs> so far. Wow, this is into the donut. The contrast in some of the buildings, look at these four shots here. The contrast between these four buildings, all just within turning distance of each other, basically. You won't believe how many Aussies are standing around here for breakfast, 8.30, 9 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Shooting liquor, <laughs> doing tasters. Saw a sign here, salted caramel espresso. This is the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> we thought coffee was the breakfast of champs. No, this is beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. I sell it every day. Really? Oh, you've got to try that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's really good. With all those amazing gourmet options, you'd think we've probably gone for a donut, mm. something wood fired, a crepe yeah. or something maybe. Local fudge. No, nah. we went for a down and dirty <laughs> bacon and egg roll. And it's actually really bloody delicious. It is good. $7 each, I think it was. 
Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. They're quite big. They are quite big. Cheers. <laughs> I'm halfway through it already. <laughs> Next stop is Kunanyi Mount Wellington. It's an absolute must do while you're in Hobart, so we've been told. Uh, <laughs> Thanks and for you guys. <laughs> you can actually see this mountain basically everywhere in Hobart. It is huge. 30 minute drive out of basically out of the city centre. But we have to thank you guys for, for leaving some comments when we asked for some help on like where to go, what to do in Tassie, because one of the things to do was obviously go up here and a stop on the way. But yeah, the height. Yeah, it's actually 200 metres taller than Table Mountain in Cape Town. Which, I mean, when I read that, I was like, nah. But now yeah, that yeah. I'm actually here and it's in front of us, it is massive. And I read your notes and I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Typo. Ooh. Looks cool. We made it. I love that there's like, you're just going up a mountain and there's a cafe here. You know what I mean? Like a yeah. lot of places, I don't feel like you're allowed to do that kind of thing because it's, you know, sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once. Yeah, here. sorry, not... I could help, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <man. laughs> so this is this is one of the recommendations we were talking about where somebody said you've got to stop off at Lost Freight. There's no view here, which I kind of expected that there would be, but that's alright because we're only like a portion of the way up up the mountain as it is, and we'll go up to the summit afterwards. But we figured walk off caffeine, caffeine. Off. Wow. Caffeine. Okay, I need the caffeine. Let's go. And if you're into hiking, this is you to a T because there are short walks, half day walks and massive <laughs> more than four hour walks as well. And there's a coffee shop halfway up. This is ideal. Snow! It is. Snow! Yes! Woohoo! It's winter! Snow! We're really driving up. It's kind of beautiful from the view we're getting back out there. And we're driving up into the fog. <gasps> I gotta be honest, when we were down there and I was looking up, I was like, nah, there's not gonna be snow. <laughs> I didn't expect it, but you no. look at it, it's misty, it's moody. These boys are out here getting snaps, and I put the phone down, oh, bro, don't let someone see us. <laughs> don't let someone see us taking a photo. Yes. You ready for this? I don't know, it looks so windy and cold. <laughs> oh, shit, it is, it is, it is. This is proper mountain, and I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. But it's misty, snow everywhere, it's cool. <laughs> oh, chuck them on, babes. <laughs> there in case. Oh, <laughs> Those kids are doing snow angels. <gasps> snow, look, look. That's more like ice. Yeah, it looks like ice. Oh my god, someone's boots here. What's going on? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went up my sleeve. He's cold. <laughs> My nose is running, my eyes are running, my feet are running. <laughs> Stay set through on the way up. Do you reckon it will clear? And I'm like, nah, babe, this isn't the kind of smog that's going to clear away. But we've got like a tiny gap. We missed it. Damn it! <laughs> Ran for nothing. I mean, to be fair, it was only about 10 seconds worth. Maybe let's just stay in here and see if it happens again. Okay. taking photos of other people's snowmen so we don't have to touch it but <laughs> make it seem like it's ours. It's a little bit of a shame that it is actually this cold and this overcast because I'm sure there's some really cool things to see and walk around and explore up here. Um, but gloves would have been helpful, would have been smart. Pro tip. <laughs> Pro tip. <Bing. laughs> Wear some gloves. Uh, really cool. I mean, the kids are loving it probably as much as Stace and I are. But totally worth the drive even if there's not much to see and you only get like a few gaps to actually get views back that one's even better look what i made two this is the second one <laughs> wait this is the third actually <laughs> what's his name he's a vibe look at him he's smoking up a storm fred fred has got a got a ciggy too snowy welcome to the oldest operating brewery in australia 
This is Cascades Brewery. It was established in 1824. She that, old. That is wild, eh? And then what was the story? This house as well. Yeah, it used to be the brewery manager's house, but now it's the bar. How cool is that? I like it. It actually splits across both sides of the road. That looks almost older and more traditional over that side. That looks like the actual brewery, like the brewing part. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair and enough. I've just seen a sign that says Cascade Brewery next right. I think that's for buses. Okay, cool, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. We're in the right place. Yeah, so see, look, it's crazy. So there's big brewery tours and all sorts of stuff that you can do here, but this is, ooh, a bug flew in my eyeball. Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> five minutes out of town, so it's just on the way back down from being up the hill, so it works out perfectly. Let's go get a pale ale. Yeah, girl. Fatty Appleton, I'll give you a guess. <laughs> Why do you think that might be? Oh, it's cool, they've got all the history there though. Oh, wow. wow, it's really modern inside despite oh, the view not outside. What not what I expected at all. No, I've heard like a lot of people say about Hobart, it's this like colonial uh, contemporary charm. And this is, this kind of like sums it all up, right? Yeah, look at it. The goods. Apparently, this is the best of Tasmania in a glass. This is the pale ale. This is their oldest beer. And I'll be the judge, you know? Kind of mild, but I'm happy with that. That's, that's a nice brew. Thank you so much. Oh, nice. Thank you. Enjoy. Perfect. Thank you so much. Tasmania is known for its seafood. We're here for a while and we're definitely going to hit that up. Bruni Island, known for its seafood, oysters, we got chocolate cheese, it's known for its whiskey as well, so there's gonna be heaps of food coming up, but we just needed a, I just needed a burger. <laughs> and some chips. And go, hey, if there was pizza on the menu? I was kind of hoping there was pizza and beersies, come on. <laughs> Everybody knows that already. <laughs> Put my <down. laughs> Supplies. <laughs> Big night in Hobart. We uh, we had every intention to go out for dinner, but we are so tired after spending all day exploring, throwing snowballs. So we're just gonna have a quiet one in tonight. We're in the car park at the hotel, in case you're wondering why I'm wandering around oh, in the dark. Um, and just trying to find my way out. We're staying at the uh, the Ibis and turned it out to be the cheapest place that we could find, essentially within good walking distance of everything, which was. 320 AUD for two nights. So we just popped to the grocery, just, just grabbed some stuff for some supplies as well for tomorrow, which is gonna be a seriously fun adventure. So that's the thing, like this is kind of city vibes, which we love, yeah. but we're really looking forward to like road trip. Road trip. Three, two, one. We're balling out on road. <coughs> oh, I lost it. This is, this is, is it gin? Is it all gin, babe? Oh, it's, oh, it's said, saw us. The goods. Breakfast of champs. Honestly. Is this the breakfast of champions? We thought coffee was the breakfast of champs. From almost anywhere in Hobart, it's called Mount Kunan. 